Hello guys. Hello. This is Alex. This is Vlada. And why don't we have some orange? In this video, we will teach you a rhythmic neuro game with orange. Orange game. <laughs> okay. So we will show you once with music and then we will explain what we are doing. So this is the first level of our game. So what we do, we take the orange first initially into the right hand and then we do kind of game between chest and the thigh. But every time we hit the orange in between. Very simple, no? Try it with us. If you don't have orange, maybe you can take apple <laughs> or any other well. fruit potato in worst case but something yes yeah? so this is the first thing just to play this game very simple no and then at, at some point we want to give it to the other hand so for this we do so chest snap and we give it to another hand. Now the right hand is active for doing the same. Three, four, chest, chest, die. So the first thing you just need, to, uh, you, you just can play this as many times as you feel comfortable in this moment. Yeah? Okay, so uh, let's do it with us, with music. I hope you have something like this in your hand. Level one. Right hand, two, three, go. Time to change. One, two, three, four. you feel a little bit less comfortable with your left hand but that's just the matter of time and practice okay it's the matter of time and practice uh, but it's very good to change the hands because you know sometimes left hand is she wants more activities and we are giving all our and the right to do something to the right hand to the stronger hand or if you're left-handed then it's opposite then your left hand is more active and right hand is a, a bit uh, pity you know sad <laughs> that you don't give her the opportunity okay now we have the second variation and it's more funny it's more interesting so what we do let's take the fruit <laughs> maybe you don't have orange maybe it's apple in your right hand then what we will do one, two, three, four. Sorry, this was, I, I cannot control the gravity. It should come in the rhythm. So it's like one, two, three, four. Let's try together. Orange in the right hand. Three, four. One, two, three, four. So what's going on here? When we hit the tie in the same time, in the very same time, we throw the orange. And this orange comes to the other hand and then we do the same with the right hand now three four one two three four very funny no <laughs> let's try it in the loop with music Rest. 
Interesting for coordination. It's very nice feeling in the body. We can we can do it. And rest. You can dance. Feel free and get ready. Three. Okay. Now, what we will do, we will combine these two games. So first yes. one was, I remind you, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, mm, mm, mm. one, two, three, four, one, two, three, Come. So after these two <coughs> times when the orange came back to your right hand, we switch to the second game. No. And we do this eight times. Okay? And then we switch back to the first game. Oh wow. First, second, first, second. Ready? Number two. More. And game number one. Number two. Trying to be rhythmical, follow the tempo of the music, even when you catch the orange. Okay. Good. How was it? 99%. 99% is good. Even if you do something wrong, it's not wrong, it's just improvisation. But it's good to observe and give yourself feedback. How many percent <laughs> did you do? Because this is rhythmic neurogymnastics. The more precise you are in your movement, the more you control your body and your mind. That's a good thing. So, I wanted to say something. <gasps> I wanted to add something. You what was it? You want to do it two times faster? <laughs> no, no, no. I wanted to uh, create one mixture of these two ideas so uh, instead of doing four times one two like this we will do one and then oh good yeah yeah let's do so we have like phrase contain uh, this phrase will contain two parts first part is like from the first game second part from the second game mm -hmm. let's try with music Three, four, and sorry, I was uh, uh, I, my focus was too much in this game. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's because you take my orange. Let's ah, do this. yes, yes, maybe because of this. So, focus on one thing. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Why did 
Let it die. Like this. <laughs> she needs to take her orange. We'll excuse Vladan. Vladan is not here. <laughs> take. <laughs> Op. Okay. So now serious, serious. Wow, another game Very for nice. the next video. <laughs> so let's try it again. Yes, let's try it. But don't don't tell anything. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Please do to that. It was a different music. <laughs> My orange, it's your orange, all good. One, two, three, go. My brain is working. Yeah, me too. In fact, it's a very simple movement, but not so simple for our coordination. A little more. Last time. Yes. Wow. Yes, very good orange game you create. Yeah, you see, it's just any object, but it can create some nice uh, challenge for your brain when you need to throw a change and do everything precisely. That's the, ma the main idea. And for the ending of this video, I want to add one more layer. Conical, in, on top of all what we do, we will say ta ka di mi ta ka ju no ta ka di mi Ta ka ju no. Yeah, so we will do ta ka di mi ta ka ju no ta ka di mi ta ka ju no. You see, we uh, we add some kind of a map of what we are doing. It's like a counting, but in a language of rhythm, which is called conical. If you want to have a whole course, which is called language of rhythm, languages of rhythm where we explore body percussion on one side and conical on another side and join them together. So, conical on top of this uh, third variation of the game. more challenge for example you can start stepping with your legs or you can say gonna call two times faster oh taka ding do you want to try yes one two three go taka ding mi taka ju no 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 taka ding mi taka ju yeah, and you can do many many different things, but it's better to start from something simple, as simple as orange, <laughs> and then when you when you feel free and comfortable with this, you can add more and more new rules for your games. And if you want more games like this, where uh, we include our body, actually it's very good to use our body more and develop the brain. So if you want 
many games like this, we welcome you to the course. The name of this course? Rhythmic Neuro Games. Yes, Rhythmic Neuro Games. It's uh, about 24 videos with different games and a methodology that will develop your coordination and will give you a lot of nice challenges. You can play it on your own or you can play it with your children or you can play it with your friends, relatives on the some meetings, you know, it's a very nice set of games that develop many, many uh, good skills of your brain activity and it's simply a lot of fun. Thank you very much <laughs> for being with us and we will see you in the next video. Yeah, see you next video. If you, if you want the course, just write us and we will immediately add you to the course. Yes. By the way, if you're a teacher and you're searching for new music for your lessons, I have a good news for you. Recently, I recorded more than 20 tracks for practicing rhythm on the lessons. So I can offer this new album for you. Each track is a lot of inspiration. There are different tempos, different time signatures. I used a lot of ethnic instruments like djembe, darbuka, hanged pan, flute, uh, some other drums and some other electronic also instruments. So it's really very nice music which is intended for lessons. I already sold it to many teachers who are our regular clients and they give good feedback about it. So if you want new inspiration, new music, please contact us and we will provide this album for you.